Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Thomas DeLauer and today I'm talking about net carbohydrates. Sounds like something super simple, but the reason I wanna do this video is to clear up any of the confusion that is surrounding net carbohydrates, fiber, sugar alcohols, and the world of ketosis specifically. But first, I have to break down what exactly a net carbohydrate is. You see, when you look at a nutrition label, sometimes you'll see total carbohydrates and then you'll see net carbohydrates. What net carbohydrates are, are the amount of carbohydrates that actually affect your blood sugar. Now, when we're talking about ketosis, we end up hearing a lot about net effective carbs and whether they truly have an impact on ketosis or if they just have an impact on our blood sugar. But before I can give you a solid answer to that, I have to describe what exactly a net effective carb is and how net carbs are really calculated. So for example, if you look at a nutrition label and you see that it has 20 grams of total carbohydrates, and then you see that it has 10 grams of fiber, well, those 10 grams of fiber are actually subtracted from the overall total carbohydrates, meaning it's leaving you with 10 grams of net carbohydrates that actually have an effect. You see the 10 grams of fiber actually don't affect our blood sugar, which means we're only left with 10 that actually have an effect. Now there's other things that can affect overall carbohydrates, overall net carbs. We have to look at sugar alcohols. So sometimes if you have something that's sugar free, you may be surprised when you first look at the label and see that there's still 20 grams of carbohydrates in it. Well, how is that low carb or sugar free? Well, if you look down a little further, you'll see sugar alcohols. And a lot of times there'll be 18 or 19 grams of sugar alcohol, which means that you're only left with like one gram of carbohydrate that's actually affecting your blood sugar. Now blood sugar is one thing. But just so you know, when you're in ketosis, all those sugar alcohols and all those fibers still count towards your overall ketosis number. So even if your overall net carbs are only at 10 grams, but your overall total carbs are at 50 or 60, it can still knock you out of that ketogenic state. But anyway, for the record, it's just important that you know exactly what a net carb is, especially when we refer to it in another video. Don't let it be the end all be all, don't live and die by it. You just wanna be aware, especially if you're dealing with something where you need to pay attention to your overall blood sugar levels. As always, keep it locked in here on my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you check out some of the other ketosis playlists that I have, but also some of the business and health connection playlists so that you can get the most out of your life, the most out of your business, and the most out of your everyday family. I'll see you in the next video.